Well, joining me now to discuss is Kentucky Congressman James Comer, ranking member on the House Oversight and Reform Committee, who is demanding that House Democrats launch an investigation into the origins of the coronavirus. Congressman, thanks for being here. Let's start with that question. You've made the demand. Are you getting a response from your colleagues? Well, we got a response from Joe Biden today. He's late to the dance, but better, uh, better now than never. And I think that uh, what we're seeing now is the Democrats in Congress and Joe Biden have seen firsthand the overwhelming evidence that shows that the origination of COVID-19 probably was in the Wuhan lab in November of 2019, just like President Trump suspected and many of us of the Republicans in Congress suspected, but we were always met with uh, conspiracy theory accusations and uh, uh, chance of racism when we when we questioned that. So uh, I'm glad that the Democrats are coming on board, and I think we will have a committee hearing very soon. Congressman, it's one thing to be late to the dance if the dance is still happening, but we're seeing evidence here that even if we investigated, is China going to provide anything that would be helpful? Is there anything new that China could provide? to make continued investigation worth it? I don't trust China at all, and I don't trust the World Health Organization. I was very disappointed when Joe Biden, in one of his first acts as president, rejoined the United States to the World Health Organization without asking any questions or holding them accountable whatsoever for China's bad behavior throughout this whole COVID process. But what I think can happen is, I think the American people can see and hear what we've already learned from the intelligence community that should give President Biden more leverage to create an international alliance of people to go in to China, to that Wuhan lab, and treat it just like we would treat a country that we suspect of making nuclear weapons. Uh, go in there and inspect that lab, find out exactly what's going on in there, find out who's funding the lab, what their goal was, and talk to those employees that we now know came down with COVID-like symptoms in November of 2019. And if China refuses to do that, then we need to have sanctions against China and we need to hold China accountable. It's the funding question and it's what's going on at the lab. Congressman, I want you to listen to Senator Kennedy today pressing Dr. Fauci about those very questions, whether the U.S. grant money could have funded gain of function research in Wuhan. Listen. How do you know they didn't lie to you? Excuse me, sir? How do you know they didn't lie to you and use the money for gain of function research anyway? Well, we've seen the results of the experiments that were done and that were published and that the viruses that they um, uh, studied are on public databases now. So none of that was gain of function. So How do you know they didn't do the research and uh, not put it on their website? There's no way of guaranteeing that. That's an astonishing clip to me. I mean, it, the obvious question is, well, maybe they don't put everything on the website. Do you have any confidence, Congressman, that we really understand the money trail that we're a part of when it comes to the Wuhan lab? No, and I think that should be one of the primary functions of a congressional oversight hearing. Who is funding this lab? Is it pharmaceutical companies? Are they trying to manufacture a virus so they can come, come in and uh, be able to sell the vaccine at a high price to the world? Are they uh, competing with, uh, with our terrorist organization trying to come up with some type of, uh, of chemical warfare? I mean, there's so many questions, or it could just simply be an, a, a simple mistake by the, the researchers there at the Wuhan lab. But regardless, China has not been transparent and they need to be held accountable. And the World Health Organization needs to be held accountable. The liberal media has defended the World Health Organization. Dr. Fauci has defended them. Uh, the Biden family continues their pattern of defending China. But this is serious. And I think the American people are just now seeing that uh, China does bear a lot of responsibility for this. And, and finally, Joe Biden is speaking out. Congressman, you talked about an international investigation. Really quickly, what role, if any, should the World Health Organization have in that? I think the World Health Organization should step back and play absolutely no role other than answering questions from an international alliance of uh, investigators asking the World Health Organization specific questions. You know, what did they know? When did they know it? And, you know, why have you constantly been defending the Communist China Party? I, I do not understand why 
the World Health Organization has always taken China's side in this whole thing. More and more intelligence is coming out, so much so that uh, even Joe Biden has, has uh, spoken out today. And I think that the World Health Organization is going to have to answer questions. If they want to answer questions from a congressional uh, panel, which they probably won't, then they're going to have to answer questions from uh, an international alliance because uh, if yep. the world sticks together, we can we can make it very painful for China in trade, and that's what's going to have to happen. The, the WHO needs to answer some questions. You know, they could ask a few good questions too. Congressman yeah. James Comer, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me on.